Hey, this is Del Shanzi, and I am back with the 304 reasons the flat top is the only paramotor that competent pilots buy or fly right now. This is page 17, so we'll just get right into it. Reason number 193. Uh, all possible wiring is mounted in an electronics pack, which is isolated from vibration by dual silent blocks and a Velcro connection for maximum reliability. Now, for a pull start unit, you actually don't have an electronics pack, which is really nice because you eliminate any possible electrical issue. Um, for the flat tops that do have an electric start, all the electronics are mounted into one single pack. So if you do have an electrical problem, you can send in the pack and have us fix that problem and or just send you a new electronics pack. That's really innovative because other units have wiring and different things strung all over the unit. So if you have any trouble with it, you actually have to figure it out. So while they might have on-site service, their on-site tech is you. <laughs> so with the flat top, we try and simplify things, make it very simplistic and you know optimize everything to make it as reliable as possible. And if you have any trouble, we can fix it immediately. Okay. Wiring harness was designed and optimized for minimal length, for optimal reliability and minimal weight. So I think I hit a few pieces last time, but each connection, each wire is made as short as possible. So you have the lightest possible weight, the least amount of wire, as well as you have the least amount that can go wrong. So you don't have wires that go all the way from this side, clear down to that side, and then up the side, over to that side. It's very, very simple. So the throttle and the wires that are used, which there's only three in a flat top, we made it very, very simplistic. Each wire goes to the correct place with the correct length. Uh, with the flat top switch, with an electric start unit, up is start, down is kill. So you have one single switch. So if you have a switch go bad, it's very easy to replace that one switch. But also because you have only one single switch, you don't have to try and figure out which switch is which. <laughs> which switch is which switch. So it's very, very simple. Up for start, down for kill. If it's a pull start unit, uh, then both up and down are wired for kill so that it's very, very simple. You have both and it kind of gives you redundancy, so you have two directions as well. Um, flat top wiring is all done exactly the same from unit to unit for ease of troubleshooting over the phone and optimal visual aesthetics. So once we perfect something on the flat top, we don't just Mickey Mouse every single unit. Every single flat top is made exactly the same. So if you order a flat top throttle, it's not gonna come with just all sorts of different lengths wires that you have to figure out. That throttle is made specifically for that unit and everything works perfectly and plugs into the correct place. So it is very, very simple. You have the cable for the throttle. Uh, throttle cable is made specifically to the correct length. Everything is cut perfectly to length and optimized for that exact distance. Very, very nice. Um, all wiring and cabling was laid out by a master computer builder that won the World System Builder Award from NVIDIA, the Kick-Ass Award for Maximum PC, several times and numerous other awards from PC Gamer and other computer magazines, ensuring optimal aesthetics, usability, and reliability. So having come from the in, uh, computer industry and uh, winning the World System Builder Award, not just winning it, but I won by over 30%. So I utterly destroyed everyone else. But there's a lot in computers where you have to be thinking and thinking like it's your unit, where most people, it's a business to them. They're just slapping something together, get it out there. It's money, 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 and all you are is a dollar sign, and they're just trying to move product. We are building units for me. <laughs> it's, it's not built for you, it's built for me, and then we build some extras so you can have one as well. But these units are made specifically for me because I fly a lot, as well as I have my own children flying them, and my wife, my family, my brother, my nephew is actually the number two pilot in the world right now behind me, 
And so my family flies these. We're not just slapping these things together and selling you whatever the heck uh, happens to come out. Every single unit is done uh, precisely and figured out the best way to do something. And if there's ever a fix for something or something that could improve the reliability and lower that failure rate still further, it is immediately implemented to a flat top. So you're not ending up with all sorts of the same issues over and over and over. And out of it, like the uh, couple years ago, I counted 19 dead in one year. Every single one of those deaths was from the same stupid stuff that's happened over and over and over and over. So it's simple things of fixing the dang problem that can easily be the difference between life and death. I went to the Salton Sea fly-in. Not only did I watch one guy die on a Blackhawk, but I almost saw another guy die because his brake toggle went into the prop. Things like that on the flat top, we have designed it to prevent that from ever happening. Where you got people selling Air Conception or Nirvana or Fly products that have the same exact issues and they're still happening and getting people seriously injured and killed as they have for over 30 years. So on the flat top, when we find a way to make it better, I mean, if a motor fails or dies in flight on my son, I'm gonna freaking fix it and not just keep selling the same dang thing for 30 years. So flat top is a completely different unit from every single other unit out there. Very, very, very different. Um, all smooth sheet aluminum electronics packed for durable and uh, removable electrical containment system. Uh, again, back to electric start units. The electronics pack is made in aluminum box. So you're containing the batteries and anything that could cause fire or spark inside of a metal box where most people have things just strapped or tie wrapped or literally Velcroed on the cage where if you have a battery, especially a LiPo battery that's just strapped to a frame and that thing shorts out and catches on fire, you have a major problem. Where we think of these things, I'm trying to figure out how to make sure that is never ever an issue, even once, let alone a recurring issue. So all the electronics are put inside of an electronics pack and then mounted to the unit, which is quickly and easily removable. Uh, and if you do have a short or a wire or anything fails, it's inside that box so that heat or whatever issue is not going to end up causing an issue to the pilot or injuring you. Okay, powder coated electronics pack for maximum durability, matching color scheme with all flat top frames and cage tops. So, of course, everything is color coordinated on the flat top and there's specific colors for specific things. So when you reorder a part, you get the correct part with the correct color. Now, it's really easy to say, oh yeah, let's make it in 10 different colors. But if they have 10 different colors, now they gotta stock 10 different uh, you know, color parts, and it makes it much, much harder to have those parts in stock. So the flat top, we have kept a simple, nice color scheme so that we try and always have the right part in stock and in the right color. Makes it simple. External master kill switch, which is accessible from front and rear of unit while in flight through the uh, porthole. So with the flat top, you can actually reach right back and bam, I just popped off my spark plug cap. A lot of units, just that alone can be impossible to do because you can't get back to the unit or you have to reach way around and your arm just doesn't reach that far. So there's different ways to kill a flat top in an emergency and get that engine shut off. Not only do we have redundancy and simplicity in the throttle and the electronics, but we also make it very simple where in an emergency situation, there's numerous different options and ways to get it shut off. Uh, smooth electronics packs gives a flat, smooth, and more comfortable service for the harness to ride on without tubes digging into your back during launch. Uh, if you don't have the electronics pack, the flat top harness also hangs away from the frame, which you don't see on most other units. If you look at most units, your back is right up against the frame. Well, those tubes and aluminum bars 
are in your bag. Not to mention the vibrating ash. The vibrating engine is then vibrating right into your back that's pushing on you. Where the flat top, the harness, if you notice, is not touching the frame. So in flight, you're hanging away from the actual frame. That way your body is not touching the tubes, makes it a lot more comfortable, and of course you're not feeling the vibration. Uh, even though you have very minimal vibration because of the way it's mounted, that vibration is not directly being transferred into your body. Uh, smooth surface of the electronics pack provides a clean, slick guide for the harness to slide up, making very smooth for launch and run uh, transition to flight. Also, when you stand up from a seated position, the harness and seat board glides up behind you effortlessly without need for adjustment. Now, the units uh, that do have electronics wired all over the place, now you have more issues. When you go to launch and that seat board goes up behind you, it's very important that it's not gonna snag on anything and that it's not going to rip off a wire or something tie wrapped to the frame or be banging up or catching on things or have something you know, that's tie wrapped to your frame digging on the harness and trying to cut a hole in your harness. So there's lots of little things on the flat top where everything is kept slim and sleek with as minimal, you know, you don't have the sharp jagged edges to snag on things. And that makes a big difference. And every little piece adds up. One piece by itself, it might not be this huge thing. Yes, it can be. One little piece could actually save your life. But when you start adding hundreds of pieces together and hundreds of little details that are all optimized in your benefit, it does make a huge difference. Uh, rounded flat on the bottom, rounded flap on the bottom of the electronics pack allows the seat board and harness to glide smoothly past the lower frame rail and engine mounts. Now, the electronics packs, the, uh, there was one other unit that had them, but their box was a square that was then mounted and screwed right onto the unit. Well, when you went to launch, the seat board would bang right into that electronics pack. Not only would it bang into the electronics pack, but the back of the seat board would smash right into the connectors on the unit and it would break the dang connectors off. And other units, you have all sorts of these just stupid things that just a little bit of common sense would make a big difference if it's just designed by people who actually fly and actually care about you and care about your life and care enough to take the time to set it up properly. So everything in the flat top, you know, you're gonna find it's set up logically and intelligently. And if we find an issue, we fix it. Makes a huge gigantic difference. And that is page 17 of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only paramotor you should be flying right now. And I mean only, the safety difference is life and death. There's just another death that just happened and they happen like every two, three weeks to a month, every, another person is dying. But what's really upsetting and, and horrifying is that they're dying in the exact same ways over and over and over on units like Air Conception and Fresh Breeze and Fly Products and Nirvana because they don't freaking update and fix the problems that they have. So with the flat top, you just start eliminating hundreds of the issues that have continued to cause serious injury and death for over 30 years. So when you go to fly, you get a flat top. Do not even think about flying anything but a flat top. See you next time.